How's it going everyone? What you're going to see today quickly is about three minutes worth of sniping highlights from the beta, the Battlefield 4 beta. Um, it's for, um, I've only played a few hours so I only managed to get a couple of decent ones because I was getting used to, because the mechanics, uh, the feel of your character, the feel of the shooting, uh, you saw an example there of when you spot, he actually, you can't just spam the spot button without your character actually making an action. Like, he'll point out toward where he's spotting, which slows down your zoom-in times a bit. Uh, so there are little subtle differences in the game. Spot system's a bit slower. Uh, you can't bunny hop around anymore either. So if you're running away as a sniper away, uh, as you continually jump around while you're sprinting, you slow down. So that slows you down a bit. Um, and this gun here, uh, they're all going to be of this gun. This one here is called uh, the CSLR4. It gives you a default 6x scope, which I personally don't like. Uh, I've never used a 6x scope in pretty much anything I've used, or any game I've ever played, so it's obviously not my favorite. Uh, but I did unlock the 8x scope, which is exactly the same as it was milladot wise and range wise in Battlefield 3, so you'll notice that in the highlights too. Now, to get that, I had to unlock what's called a battle pack. Uh, and what it is, there's gold, silver, and bronze battle packs. And the bronze one I happened to unlock, which was for reaching uh, rank up one, I imagine, or it might have been three, I'm not sure. I think it's three, actually. Um, you'll see it because you'll, I'll have a next unlock at, five, at rank five, a next unlock at rank seven, and a next unlock at rank ten. Uh, and what happens is, you, you obviously, as you rank up, you get these battle packs. And at least in the bronze, it gave me three unlocks. It gave me a Coyote Sight for the, a, for the Assault Rifle, the AK-12. Uh, and it gave me the 8x scope for the CSLR4 sniper rifle. It also gave me a camo, but I have seen in other people's videos that it can give you up to an hour's worth of double XP or 25% increase in XP. So basically it's, for the most part, somewhat random, but I imagine it's, you know, nothing extraordinarily random like you get a spectacular gun or something like that. It'll basically, at least from what I've seen, be sights or something along that. Uh, but uh, for the beta, it is quite different. Uh... The, your character movements, uh, your character, how like how the character moves himself, how he sprints, how he jumps, uh, how he spots. A lot of them has changed. It's not very different to the point where it's an, a, a huge adjustment, but it is different to the point where you have to acknowledge that it is different and it takes getting used to. Uh, there is a lot of differences. Uh, with the six times scope, I couldn't master the bullet drop in a couple of hours worth of gameplay that I did. Uh, but the CS24... Ironically enough, even though the SV-98 is in Battlefield 4, the this gun here actually does feel like the SV-98 of Battlefield 3, so it's not too bad. Um, I am working on the unlocks. I am going to get busy with school, so I might slow down a bit. Uh, but I, w I do wish they'd given a rush mode out, uh, because I, I can't feel myself playing this beta an awful lot playing just one map and one type of game. It's kind of boring. But we'll see. I'll, I'll discuss everything Battlefield 3 related from vehicles to recon to everything. So hope you enjoy. See you later.